What do you think of uh, Lincoln Riley's comments, Charlie? Well, what else are you going to say? Let's start there. Okay. So, hey, I'm telling uh, my, my report is from three teams, okay, or more, uh, it's more than two, um, of what their impression was in a 15 minute interview. Okay. That's, that's what I repeated. Okay. And I obviously, uh, I'm not going to reveal the teams, nor am I going to reveal some specific things that were said, but I'm giving you the summary of the overview of it. Now, um, I've, there's been guys who failed the interview room and go on and had successful careers. Just telling you, that's what he did in that situation. Um, on Friday, and uh, I'm going to plug my uh, segment on Friday, up to the minute, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock Eastern. Uh, this was pre-planned because the work was already done before I went on television yesterday. Um, everybody says, well, this guy's got to be in a certain offense. Well, what's that? I'm going to show you the certain offense that he can be in to be successful. On tape, this guy was a phenomenal player. There's no question about that. Um, no one denies that. The interview didn't go well. We'll find out, you know. At the end of the day, Rich, it's going to be system has to match what he can do, and I, I can show that that can be done and is done in the NFL. Um, this guy's work ethic, intelligence, I shouldn't say intelligence, study habits, that's what's going to be a question. Um, what wasn't asked, uh, Riley, was uh, compare him to Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield, way ahead of this guy. Whether he would have said that on the air, I doubt it. Well, what do you mean by that, Baker Mayfield, way ahead of this guy, Charlie? Well, just in the area of the leadership and the study habits and the work habits uh, and – Let's just say grasping concepts put into a test situation. Mayfield, Russell Wilson, um, and Mahomes way ahead of this guy. And those guys have all proven in the NFL that they can adapt their game to the NFL structure as far as work habits, studying, and everything. You know, in, in college, it, it's uh, it, it's more of a reactive type thing. It, it, it doesn't even they scratch the surface many times with the spread offense and what they're going to have to do in the NFL. But there is a way to adapt his skill set to be successful. Well, Charlie, I mean, uh, not to, you know, have you reveal your sources, as you you already said you won't, and I don't blame you. I, what about the idea that these teams are, are, are smoke screening in a way uh, to try and well, let me say cut, that, cut him? Well, let, me, let me say Sorry to cut you off. No, Rich. go ahead. These three, these three people were not smoke screening me. That's all I can tell you. So there is. That doesn't mean. But go you, ahead. But you know that there are people who have agendas to try and maybe make sure that he doesn't show up in their division, or maybe show make sure that he doesn't show up in their conference, or try and knock him down because they don't like the agent, or try and knock him down for various reasons. I mean, you. you I don't think I'm telling any tales out of school or accusing your. Uh, your colleagues or, or sources for doing that, but you're saying this is an unvarnished, un, uh, uh, I guess, uh, non-agenda opinion from people who told you about Kyler Murray. Absolutely. No question in my mind. Zero question. So, How is that possible, though, that he doesn't have the leadership skills or, or didn't portray them? Well, uh, you're talking about, talking about a guy who had a bad interview, okay? Clearly, Rich, this guy was not trained for an interview. It's obvious based on the comments made to me. I've trained players for combine. I've trained, I train over 100 players a year for interviews for the combine. Just no way this guy was trained, okay? So now you're talking about a guy who's not trained in the interview and says some things that are absolutely off the wall, okay? You'd never say them if you were trained. Now, that all comes out when you go visit and you spend a day with this guy, Okay, what I would do with this guy, I'd say, okay, uh, Kyle, we're gonna sit down. Let's go through your 12, 14 games. Let's start. Let's go, and then let's go through every one, every play. Um, we're going. We're thinking about taking in the top 10 in the first round. Uh, let's go do that. Let's see how it goes. That's going to be more of a test than a 15 minute interview. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.